Lumen Brand CEO David Dino joins us now by phone for a first on CNBC interview. David, it's good to hear from you again. Thanks for phoning in. Well, thank you. It's good to hear from you. I, I'm a little surprised at the magnitude of the reaction in the market to, to your report today. I think the loss was better than expected, and so were some of the sales figures. Was it the lack of guidance and, and lack of, sort of certainty that you see going forward that's spooking Wall Street? Well, I think we uh, continue to see revenues grow in our restaurants week to week to week in the U.S. I think people are overall concerned about the restaurant marketplace, uh, but I can tell you that our, our company has seen revenue gains on a sequential basis each week, and we continue to plan on seeing that the balance of the year. How much of your restaurants total right now are indoor dining versus outdoor or takeout or delivery? Right now, about 61% of our uh, dining is, excuse me, 61% of our sales is dining and 39% is carry out and delivery. I don't have off the top of my head what's outdoor, but one of the things about our footprint is we're mainly a southern U.S. Uh, company, so we, we can still offer outdoor dining uh, pretty much year round. So 61% indoor dining and 39% delivery and carry out. That's interesting. Are you, are you worried, David, therefore, uh, about some of your rivals or peers? Maybe worried isn't the right word, but uh, th that as we get colder weather that they'll see serious hits to their sales? Oh, I don't. I can't speak for our, our rivals. Um, we'll have to see. But for us, I think the, with the footprint that we have for dine-in and outdoor dining, and also we have a really great uh, delivery and carry-out business that has really held up well during the pandemic, I think you'll see customers taking, care, uh, taking advantage of that channel as well. So what do you see in the coming months? You mentioned you're able to stay outdoors longer. What kind of sales? I mean, today, today David, we got a, a record number of COVID cases here in the U.S. How mm -hmm. does that impact your outlook? Well, so far, we haven't seen uh, uh, an impact to our sales with the increase in COVID sales. Now, we, of course, offer in-restaurant dining with all the safety and security our customers and our employees can, can enjoy. So our goal is to continue to offer great service, build our indoor dining, and also take advantage of the really strong off-premises business in delivering carryout in case customers want to have our great food in their homes. David, in terms of uh, the, the, the food price inflation we saw earlier in the year, have you seen any of that abate and uh, what type of pressure has it put uh, on your margins and your bottom line? Yeah, we've actually had a very good food cost uh, experience this year. We're up about 1% to 1.5% in, in uh, our food costs. And next year, we believe we're going to be below our historic uh, normals of about 2.5%. We think our food inflation will be less than that. And we had a very good uh, food cost expense this quarter, uh, one of our best ever. And so things have gone very well for us on the supply chain standpoint. And also, um, all the products have been available, and we've been able to serve everything that we need. Given you, you're talking so much about delivery and takeout, and that's really what's working, and, and you've increased the percentage of the business there, have you, sh have you made any pivots in strategy about the way you're thinking about remodeling and opening new stores next year in favor of expanding that delivery and takeout business? Well, a couple things. First of all, we make sure all of our restaurants have enough of a bump out, in other words, a carry out and delivery area in our restaurants so our, our dining customers are not disturbed. So we make sure we have a big enough place for people who handle delivery and carry out to make that happen. And then secondly, we're looking at a virtual brand, which we call Tender Shack, which serves uh, chicken tenders and fries out of the restaurant and delivered through DoorDash to our customers. So those are two of, two of our strategic uh, shifts that we're making to make sure we meet the needs of the customers. David Dino, thank you very much for joining us with the update. Well, thank you very much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.